Hi, I'm Debbie Hartner. I'm Elsie Johnson. We are two sisters, Southern Cooking. Some free range chickens and rooster. Life on the farm. Hey y'all, it's Debbie. So we're in the garden again today and I'm gonna be putting in some green beans as well as some sweet peppers and I'm gonna be sowing right into the ground. I'm not ready to transplant my jalapenos yet. They are ready, but it was a little cold last night. It was about 46 degrees and it's not compatible with the kind of ground temperature that the jalapenos need. So I'm gonna wait probably another, about another week or two before we decide to go ahead and put them in the ground. So stay tuned. So this is our little potato spuds. They're coming up out of the ground. And of course, here is our carrots. They're coming along. And our, yeah, let me just reinforce this a little bit so it gives a little structure here. These are our sugar snap peas. And this is, our leaf lettuce. Now these came from seed here. So I just eat it in here and I'm finding little rugrats. Now this is our garlic and our lettuce. And of course I transplanted some of our leaf lettuce over here. Of course, we have some onions here, and we got some more lettuce and onions, and of course, our sugar snap peas, and our broccoli. Our broccoli here, I gotta put seven dust on them in just a couple minutes, as soon as I finish planting some pole beans, and some sweet, banana peppers so that's what it looks like now it's doing it its emphasis stage but we're working on it so we'll be back and show you what it looks like when everything is in full bloom and we have everything going and it's gonna be good y'all I am going to go ahead and put some pole beans in the ground now this is not the most sunny location I have um, but I need to put that the peppers in a more sunnier location so they'll still grow anyways because the ground is rich so I have to space these about three inches apart and about one and a half inches deep so I've got my little handy dandy stick here to put it down into the ground we'll put it in then pop the seed in there and then cover it up and then uh, what we'll do is when it starts to germinate, it'll probably take about two to three weeks to germinate. And when they start to get about three or so inches high, then we're gonna have to thin them out to about 10 inches apart. So they are climbers. So we're gonna have to put up some kind of a, like a little uh, guide to put up so it'll be able to grow and climb. So we'll show you what it looks like when I'm doing this.
I'm going to go ahead now and put in some bush beans. This is beans that grow out into bushes and they're going to be like long snap beans. But what's going to happen with these beans is they are going to grow rather than up and need a guide to take them up. You're going to just let them grow out of the ground and they'll be like a bush. So this germinates within like seven to 14 days. You have to plant them about one to two inches deep and about three inches apart. You want them in a sunny location, but I mean, this does get like a dapple shading here in the, in the uh, garden area. So what I'm gonna do is put these in the ground and then I'm going to water everything with the fish fertilizer because everything needs to be fertilized right now. But the reason why I didn't wet the ground before putting these in, we had one overload of rain yesterday. It was hysterical how much rain we got. It was raining the entire day. So therefore we do not need any water in the ground right now. So when I fertilize, I'm just going to go down the line and just with the water and just fertilize, I'm not gonna saturate the ground like I would normally. I might turn the water spigot on just for the new ones um, for maybe like a half an hour, but that's it. I'm not gonna do anything else. All right, guys, I'll show you what it looks like when I put them in the ground. So actually what I'm gonna do is because my last seed for my pole beans are over here, I'm going to come over probably about maybe six to eight inches to give it some room to grow so we don't have it sitting on top. Hey y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my banana peppers in the ground. These are seeds, these are not seedlings. I had some plants earlier and uh, the bugs got to them and I ended up having to throw them away because it killed the, the plant. So I'm gonna start from fresh. Tonight will be the last night that we're having temperatures less than 50 degrees. So I feel confident enough to be able to put these in the ground because this takes about two to three weeks to germinate. So you're gonna make a little line down the center just like so and you're going to drop your seeds in about an inch apart and then you're just going to flip the dirt right over top of them i'm going to be fertilizing everything with fish fertilizer here in a little bit um i think i'm just going to spot check them because um we had an issue with the um the rain yesterday we had a lot of rain so i don't want to oversaturate the ground because it is pretty wet right now that's why i have not prepped any of the ground at all is because i wanted to go ahead and just do it with the fertilizer and uh, we'll go from there all right guys we'll show you what we're doing right now fish fertilizer for my seedlings, my mature plants, as well as my freshly planted seeds. It is good for humans and it's also easy on the environment as well as animals. It doesn't harm anyone. So it stinks god awful, but it is a great fertilizer. And I'm Debbie. We're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. And we thank you for visiting our page. Please like, share, and subscribe.